what's up everyone tech cloud here and in this video once again as you can see i'm in my restroom and i have filled the bathtub with the water and similarly i tested the z2 waterproofing and as well as the audio coming out of the device underwater now this time i'm going to test the s5 uh, waterproofing and as well as the sound coming out of s5 actually i'm not feeling as confident as i was uh, when i was putting the z2 under the water the reason is the s5 does not feel as uh, solid let me show you why you must have heard the rattle sounds coming out of the s5 and it happens every time i press the back cover and it does not actually talk about the good build quality and also it actually does not uh, build the confidence as far as the waterproofing ability of this device is concerned anyways uh, let's test the audio under the water and let's see how it compares with the z2 Actually because of the water the device register a touch and it paused the sound. Also I experienced the same thing that I experienced with Z2 that even if I took the device out of the water still the overall volume is now less than what it was before I put the device in the water. Although you can see the volume is still at max. The screen also feels a little bit too sensitive and recording the touch more than the Z2. So now let's uh, pair a Bluetooth speaker with the S5 and let's see whether the Bluetooth is able to give the sound when the S5 is under the water or not. Once again I'm experiencing the same thing that I experienced with the Z2 that as the device go few inches uh, under the water the Bluetooth stops working and I feel that S5 goes little bit deeper than the Z2 when the Bluetooth stops working. So let's see whether the touchscreen works under the water or not and uh, right now actually I can't see the touchscreen working here but uh, strangely when I was taking underwater photos using the S5 the touchscreen actually recorded uh, the touch because of the water and the camera zoom in and out was working uh, on its own using its own brain because of the water. However if you took out the device out of the water and uh, shake the water from the screen then uh, there is no problem the screen will start working fine again by the way stay tuned for the underwater photos and videos coming out of the z2 and s5 so probably you will be able to see the video tomorrow so guys uh, this was the waterproofing demonstration of Samsung S5 and as you can see the touch sensitivity of the screen is off. So also this is the demonstration that how the audio works when the device is under the water. I hope uh, that you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos like that. And if you have liked the video make sure you press the thumbs up button at the bottom of the video. Bye.